now a pattern. Upon arrival today, she shamelessly showcased her new purchase as the reason for her tardiness. Her further explanation, one would think that would take a sales clerk 15 minutes to finalize a sale, especially after she had spent over an hour deciding on which Bagley Mischa bag best fit her physique. A seasoned clerk would have anticipated a purchase and had her out of the store in time for her appointment within minutes of her decision. She positioned the bag against her thigh and over her shoulder, as I imagined which outfit in my closet would match the red leather purse with gold zippers. It was minutes before I remembered that this was a patient and that I needed to provide treatment for her rather than treat her like a girlfriend coming over for lunch. I quickly got a grip and requested that we focus on another of Rachel's favorite topics, herself. Don't get me wrong, Jamal and I work well together. We always have. Rachel glanced down at her purse as if it were a small puppy seated next to her. From the very beginning, our relationship has always been a kind of an arrangement anyway. Daddy was like our business manager. You know, like those movie stars with fake marriages. Soft waves of her hair fell backward, hitting her shoulder as she laughed. What is up with me today? It's not only movie stars who have fake marriages, but basketball and football players do too. And they all have bunches of lawyers who just defend their little secrets. But people know because they are fooling around with somebody, and those somebodies talk. Anyway, Jamal is just as much eye candy as any of those movie stars, even after all these years. And to come and think of it, Jamal's a little gay, too. Final thoughts on the family that stays together. I would want the readers to know that even though it's categorized as a mystery, that those individuals who enjoy just a good story would also love this book because the family that stays together is not a typical formula mystery in that sense of the genre. I believe they would find the story and its characters and the use of pop culture very engaging. Where can your readers find out more about you, your stories, and your books on the Internet? They certainly can go to purchase the book at Amazon.com. My Facebook page, Deborah Plummer Bussey. I'm on Goodreads. I tweet through at Sister Nun. And I also blog for the Huffington Post. Deborah Plummer Bussey, thank you so much for being with me today on the Eat Sleep Right podcast. I know my listeners will enjoy your work and your interview. Thank you so much. I really appreciate the conversation. Thank you for listening to another edition of the Eat Sleep Right podcast, located on the internet at eatsleepright.net. Please send an email with any questions or comments to info at eatsleepright.net. Once again, the email address is info at eatsleepright.net. Please consider a donation to show your support for the Eat Sleep Right podcast. Checks and PayPal are accepted. Our PayPal email is donations at eatsleepright.net. If sending a check, Please ask for the mailing address.